I think some people have some misconceptions about what a Christian is. Some people may believe a Christian is someone who doesn't do anything wrong. And if you know any Christians, that is not the truth. As Christians, we may do some things that are wrong, whether we did not try to do it, or we tried, or we wanted to do it, I mean. The thing about it, Christians may sin, but let it not be a habit. You know, you can say, God, please forgive me for all of my sins. Please help me to stop doing what is wrong. You see, Christians are human, right? Like, as far as speaking toward, uh, yes, I believe Christians are humans. So if Christians are humans, humans are going to, at times, do what is wrong. Am I saying doing wrong is okay? I am not saying that. Am I saying you should aim to do what is wrong? I am not saying that. You may believe being a Christian is being perfect. That is not exactly the case. Yes, we should strive for perfection, of course. But we may not do everything right all the time. So you may say you are not ready to be a Christian because you are not perfect. You not being perfect is a very good reason to be a Christian because as Christians, I believe we should improve. Improve in trying to be like Jesus Christ. So if you are not perfect, you are a great candidate, if I can use that word, to be a Christian. Your, imp your imperfection shows you need to be a Christian. You know, um, <laughs> some people, you know, some atheists or maybe some Christians will point their finger at a person and be like, how can this person call themselves a Christian when they are fornicating, when they are cussing a lot, when they are blah, 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 blah. We don't really know if that person is truly trying to change or not. I can't read a person's mind. Can you? Maybe some witches can. I don't know. But I can't read a person's mind. Now, I can probably say that person is not being Christ-like, but I hope this is making sense. But we don't really know what a person's intentions are. We can look at a person's actions and be like, hey, this person is doing wrong. Okay, okay. But we can't really, I guess I can say, read a person's intentions. I think for something like that, Maybe only God can. I don't know. You being imperfect is the right reason to come to Christ, 
to become a Christian. Because without God, how can you improve? How can you improve in your patience, improve in your humility, improve in other things of God? How can you? Kevin, I am going to wait until I get better to come to Jesus Christ. That makes no sense. How can you be better? Myself, I did not start to become better until I came to Jesus Christ. I needed and still need his help. I can't do it without him. And listen to, if you see a pastor or a Christian doing something wrong, that is normal. Should we be doing wrong? No. I am not saying we should do wrong, but if you see a Christian do wrong, that is normal. Now, if that person is a pastor and they are constantly doing wrong, then they probably should not be a pastor. But toward being a Christian, I think that is normal. Because I believe we are in different levels. I believe we are on different levels in Jesus Christ. I may be more mature as a Christian than Joey. Tommy may be so much higher than me in Christ. I believe we all are on different levels. So, since Tommy is so much higher than me, compare, comparing me to Tommy, I may seem like a very immature Christian, which it could be that way toward... Um, but Tommy, if that makes any sense to you. Are you constantly doing what is wrong? Probably yes. Is it taking you so long to change? Probably yes. This is a good reason to be a Christian. You don't have to be perfect to be a Christian. Yes. We need to aim for perfection. We need to strive for perfection. I believe the Bible says too, to be perfect. So myself, I know I am not perfect, but I am striving for perfection. You are not perfect. You need to strive for perfection. Just because you are doing things wrong doesn't mean you are no good at being a Christian. Some people may just give up because they have an idea of what being a Christian is, but I believe that idea is wrong. I hope this is making sense. Stop beating yourself up when you make so many mistakes. Now, please hear what I am saying. I am not saying it is okay to sin. What I am saying, if you are trying to stay in Jesus Christ, you are trying to do better, Stop beating yourself up to where you feel discouraged to live for Jesus Christ. You are going to make mistakes. You may cuss. You may fornicate. You may do very awful things. Even with that, not saying those things are okay, even with those things, try to not do them anymore. Ask God for forgiveness. Uh, have a mindset to never wanting to do those things anymore. And keep moving forward. 
Kevin, I keep messing up. You will keep messing up. That is not the point. What's the point is your next step. Okay, I have sinned. What am I going to do now? Okay, I am going to repent. I am going to ask God for forgiveness. And I am not going to let my past sins make me feel bad to where I don't want to live for Christ anymore. Move forward. I hope this makes sense. Move forward. Yes, I know I did wrong and I regret it, but I am not going to feel condemned for my past sins when I am trying to do what is right now. This is the way you should be. Everyone, I believe everyone, is eligible to be a Christian. You may... Let me say that in the right way. If you have the heart to change, even though it is difficult for you to stop being a witch, even if it is difficult for you to stop being gay, even if it is difficult for you to stop being a fornicator, liar, cheater, whatever, be a Christian. Be a follower of Christ. Well, Kevin, I know that I am going to keep falling into those sins and more. It doesn't matter. Be a follower of Christ and keep on striving for perfection. Yes, you are going to do what is wrong. But let that not be a determining factor if you should live for Christ or not. I hope this is making sense. You are not, I believe in many cases, let's say there is a very devoted person to God. And let's say they have been living for Jesus Christ for 20 years. I believe in many cases, you are not going to jump to that person's level on your first day, on your first year. I believe in many cases, you won't. The thing that you may not know, you are seeing that person for how they are now, but probably you did not see how long it took that person to get to the level they are on now. So you think on your first day, on your first week, on your first year, on your first five years, you will be very mature as that 20 year Christian. Stop looking at people so much. Focus on your relationship with God. Yes, I am very immature, yes, for an example, not saying this is me. Yes, I am very immature. Yes, I am very carnal. Yes, I am very hateful and stuff. But I am going to take my time and be patient and allow God to work on me. Allow God to show me, you know, what I need to change, what I need to do. Do you think only very mature Christians go to heaven? I don't think so. For instance, the Apostle Paul. <laughs> I believe that man was a very, very mature Christian. How many of us are going to be on the same level as him while we are on this earth? Maybe most of us won't. So does that mean we are going to hell since we are not on the same level as the Apostle Paul? I don't think so. I don't think I will go to hell because I am not on the same level as Peter and Paul and James and them. You may, 
I may be on a higher level than you. Just because you not just because you are not as mature as me doesn't mean you won't get into heaven. It reminds me about the thief on the cross and we don't know what spiritual level he was on but I believe he repented to Jesus when he was on the cross and I believe he went to paradise so what does that say about all of us have the heart to do what is right yes you may not be very mature you may you may make a lot of mistakes, you may do a lot of things wrong, but have a heart to do what is right. Have a mind to do what is right. Yes, I am messing up, but I am still striving for perfection. I am still trying to do what is right. I am still, you know, you know, my climb up the mountain is very rocky. But I am not going to allow that to keep me down. That is the attitude we must have. Why wouldn't you get into heaven with that type of behavior and attitude? Honestly, you don't have to be like me to get into heaven. You don't have to be like the Apostle Paul to get into heaven because we may not never get to those levels but have the heart to do what is right. I know I am messing up. I know I am doing wrong, but I don't want to do it. I am continuing trying to change. I am continuing trying to learn about God and whether I am advancing slowly or quickly, I am trying to change. Why wouldn't God honor that? I hope this makes sense. Stop comparing yourself with other people. Well, you know, Kevin, Kevin is doing so good in this area, in that area, and I am not like him in that area, so I am going to hell. That makes no sense. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.